So now in this video we're going to take a quick look at a switch in a circuit. We're using a push button switch because it fits in the breadboard pretty well. So right now the LED is off. That's because the switch is open. Current can't flow through the circuit. When we close the switch right there you see the LED comes on because we now have a current path for the power supply. So it's going through all those currents is the same. It's going to be about 14 milliamps of current, a little bit less probably. That's because we have a 5 volt power supply. The LED is dropping about 2 volts, because it's red, from the 220 ohm resistor, leaving 3 volts across it. You use ohms law to calculate the current. 3 divided by 220 is a little less than 14 milliamps of current. Here is the power supply. It's not as accurate as a multimeter, but there you can see that uh, we have the current shown there. It's showing about 12 milliamps of current. The meter can be anywhere in the circuit, or this bubble could just let you know what the current flow is. You don't actually have to measure the current. Push button switches come in a lot of electronic uh, circuit kits. The top two pins are connected together. The bottom two pins are connected together. They fit in the breadboard uh, somewhat easily. The pins here are, uh, the legs are a bit bigger than the wires and so the board might uh, pop it out once in a while. Uh, you can, you know, modify it to, so it fits better. But in any case, it just inserts in that board uh, that easily. You press the button that connects top to bottom and you got your current path there. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.